Hi everyone, my name is GB Colleen and in this video we will finally open a bunch of these miniverse and put together the food that we get inside. Probably already know about these so without further ado, let's get into it. Alright so right off the bat, the zipper on these is perfect. Well I think I might have spoken too soon. I understand having two layers but I don't know exactly why they put this third one, it, it doesn't really make sense. Alright, so uh, you get quite a few things in one ball. Uh, we're gonna go through each of them and I'm gonna explain what everything is. This is just a little pamphlet with a little bit of information about them. And then on this side, you can actually um, sign up for, you know, like a newsletter, I guess. Then you get three of these pamphlets, which are basically information and, you know, instructions on how to put these together. One is in English, the other one is in Spanish, and then there's one in French. All right, so on one side, there's some important information and, you know, safety guidelines and all that. Then there's some disclaimers letting you know, you know, things like an adult needs to be present, uh, stuff about the resin bottle. And then it also lets you know what to do if you get resin on your hands or on your, you know, working space and all that. The ball itself acts as a uh, storage capsule which is really good in my opinion and also avoids you know extra waste and then on this other side there's just instructions on how to put everything together what to do after you're done and then a little bit more information about the resin and you know in case you haven't worked with resin before it just you know lets you know a few things you should be aware of and then this is the collector's guide which shows you how they should look at the end obviously you can play around and you know make it your own and make it look however you want I really like that they also display all the ingredients that you're gonna get to make that specific product and then on this other side it shows you in which order to put them together so that you know you get what's on this other side i think the whole concept is pretty cool and you can tell that they you know they really thought about this they really thought through everything and all the steps and you know getting the entire product to a place where it's going to be a good experience for the user all right and then this is your table and it comes in two pieces that you literally just put together like this and then this is supposed to be kind of like a, I don't know, like a tablecloth almost, I guess. So now let's open all of these pouches and see exactly what we got. So we got a jar that says spread on it, but with those peanuts there, I'm guessing it's peanut butter. And then in here, we got two slices of bread, a container of uh, banana slices, a plate. This I'm guessing is a uh, butter knife. And as far as I know, all the balls will also have this little thing and then the tweezers. So this little piece actually goes in here. And then it's kind of like a cloche because once you're done, you can actually put that thing in there. I'm not gonna put it in now, but you snap it in there and then you can close it like this and you can display your mini like that. So based on all the ingredients that we have, it seems like we got the banana toast. All right, let's put the play right there. Okay, here are two pieces of toast. Looking really nice. Now let's get some of this peanut butter out. See, normally you have this little tab here, so you should be able technically to pull it off, but it's never been the case. I always had to use like an X-Acto knife or something because it's it's really difficult to get it off like that. But it is one complaint I have about these. Um, yeah. And of course you get some resin on your X-Acto knife, so you always have to have, you know, stuff on hand to, to clean things. All right, and now, based on the instructions, we have to use this knife, so that's what we're gonna do. Everything is so tiny, I'm afraid I'm gonna drop things and... Oof, okay. Yeah, this is not working exceptionally well. Also because I have big hands, so probably should add more. What if we do this? Yeah, this isn't going to work like that. I'm going to need something else to scoop it out of there because there's not a lot. Let me get some on this other slice. Yeah, I, I'm not enjoying this particular one too much, <laughs> to be honest. It's just, yeah, a recipe for a mess. I guess the knife will look cool here like that, even though it's dirty. I think this will work a lot better. Oh yeah, look at all that. Okay, that looks good. Thank you. 
that looks pretty nice, right? The only concern I have is that these will come off the plate. So I would like them to actually stick to the plate. I was thinking maybe I could put a little bit of resin here to get the knife glued to the plate and then a little bit of resin to get the slice of bread glued to the knife. And also the two slices of bread will be glued between the two of them. Let's try that out. I don't want to ruin it though. I don't want it to look really bad. So I'm going to go easy with the resin. There we go, that should be enough. Yeah, the knife part there doesn't look too great, but there's not much I can do, I think. Let me try to adjust it a little bit. Maybe like that, okay. Now I need to be really careful when I put the slices of banana to not move everything around. That doesn't look great, but um, I don't know. Should I go just, I don't know, very symmetric or should I just randomly throw them on there? I guess in a way that's the beauty of this thing because you can make it yourself however you feel like it. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. I don't have any more slices, but uh, let me give you a closer look before we hit it with the UV light. It's pretty good, right? So that thing over there is one of those uh, UV nail lamps. This is what I was waiting for because I thought it doesn't count for this type of mini, but if we get the jar or something that has like a 360, you know, resin coverage and we need to harden it on all sides, I thought it was easier to just get one of those and put it in there and be done with. But for this one, since we just have to hit it with the UV light from the top and maybe a little bit from the sides, I got one of these bigger flashlights so that, you know, it's more powerful and we don't need to keep the UV light on it too much before it gets hard. Normally on the instructions sheet, it says that you should leave it in the sun four to five minutes. You know, some of them asks for more, but I live in the Chicago area and right now it's winter, so I cannot do that. There is no sun anywhere <laughs> and the UV light works a lot faster. You know what's interesting now that it got hard, it actually looks like peanut butter, whereas before it was a little bit more translucent. And I think I did a pretty good job with the knife over there too. Now let's test it and see if it's gonna. Yep, it holds. I can feel it wobbling a little bit, probably see from this side, it's not too strong. Now it's even more stable. So there it is, the banana toast. Now let me show you how to store it. I found that the easiest way to actually do it is to remove this bottom part, press that one in there first, and then you add this, you know, top part. And you put this on, and this, and then this. We're just going to leave it like this for now. And we're going to put it over here. All right, next one. Oh, it seems like we, oh, I thought we got another cheesecake. So it seems like we got a pie. Let's see which kind do we get. Mm, it looks, that looks like lime. So we probably have the key lime pie. Total happy, 100%. Vitamin fun, 100%. And then sun smiles 100%. <laughs> oh, we got some uh, whipped cream. <laughs> A um, pan. And of course we got the limes. Can't forget about the limes if you have a key lime pie. All right, this one seems uh, pretty easy and straightforward. We got the pan over here. And we're gonna get our pie crust which has a nice texture. It's like rubbery almost. And now the spread, I hope it will come out of here easily because this is always the hardest part. Let's pour it all out. See, this thing is something they should work on. Like getting the resin out is pretty hard. So either add a little bit more or I don't know, make these bottles a little bit different so that, you know. All right, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think I can get out any more than this. We're gonna get these ready because I wanna show you something cool after. Check this out, the whipped cream. Look at that, <laughs> isn't that cool? If they get out, <laughs> come on. We have one more in there. There we go whipped cream in the middle and then it alternates between whipped cream and uh, 
lime wedges. I think what I'm going to do is whenever I get one of these and it's a first, I'm just going to make it the way they showed it. And then if we get a double, I'm going to make it in a different way. We're going to, you know, try to figure out something cool that we can make ourselves. All right. So one in the middle. One here. No, 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 no. Well, that's not too bad. Could have been worse. This requires a lot of focus. Like I'm, I'm sweating over here, to be honest. This everything is so tiny and it's, I mean, you're working with resin. So if you drop something, it's, it's, it's going to be a mess then to clean it up and to, you know. Yeah, this won't look anywhere near as good as theirs. I think it's these tweezers, they're not, they're not good. They're just too, maybe I should use my own. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no way. There's no comparison to what they did. <laughs> this looks, uh, this looks really bad. It's hard. It's hard. They're so tiny. They're really, really tiny, you know? So it makes it really hard. I think that's good. If I add more, I'm going to really ruin it. Well, let's hit it with the resin real quick before they all sink to the bottom. Okay, I think that should be good. Yep. Well, there it is. My um, awfully looking key lime pie. <laughs> I did the best I could. These are not too easy to put together, you know? They're nice, they're great. I mean, it uh, it opens up, you know, ways for you to be creative and make it your own, but um, yeah. No, and let's not forget the spoon. By the way, these are taking a lot longer to build than I anticipated, so I honestly don't know how many we can go through in this episode. I mean, in this video, I've been watching too many TV series lately. That's why I'm saying in this episode. But I do plan on doing a lot more with these. Let's uh, open another one at least and then see where we are with time. You know what's really funny? I actually wanted to... I have 20 of them in total and I wanted to open 10 in this video. I, I don't I don't think that's going to be possible. Oh, based on this, I think we might got another cheesecake. I hope it's not the blueberry one, because I already have it. Uh, it might be. We'll see. Hmm, no, it's not. I don't remember the strawberries being part of that one. I mean, what am I talking about? It was blueberry, obviously. It wasn't part of them. This feels a little sticky. And my fork. Seems like we got this one, the strawberry cheesecake. Looks really delicious. So let's put it all together. I really like these, by the way. Like the, the base, um, like the crust, the toast, the cheesecake itself. It's really nicely made. Oh, wait, actually, I think it's like this. Yeah. Yeah, see, this one kind of spilled a little bit. That's why I felt it was sticky. And then you put this little thing on. I'm having the same trouble that I had with the blueberry cheesecake. These are like, they're not filled and then they're pretty big and the resin is all the way at the bottom most of the time. And it just doesn't, you know, it's thick, so it doesn't flow right out. So you gotta, you gotta wait and then see, it does kind of like that thing when you have just a little bit of ketchup left. I think that's about it. I don't think there's much left in there. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna use the nozzle to kind of like spread it around. And then we want to get that, you know, drippage on the sides. But first, I just want to make sure I get everything covered. All right, and now let's do that drippy, drippy, drip. I think we're gonna do one more on this side, and that's it. Interesting, it shows that there's two whole strawberries in the middle. We just got we just got one. And then all the other ones kind of like on the side. Okay, we can do that. Let's see, one in the middle. You know what? Let me get different tweezers because these are just nah. 
Yeah, these tweezers are much better. And then you can kind of like move them around a little bit if you don't like the way they're placed. Move them too much though. Okay, I think that looks good. So let's hit it with the UV res with the UV. I was gonna say with the UV resin. Let's hit it with the UV light quick. Actually, let's let's use this for for this specific mini. Let's get it closer and obviously plug it in. Forgot about that part. This is such a like delicate type of job. I mean, obviously the sensor works only if you have, you know, there's like a beam of laser here and you, if you interrupt that, then it's going to turn on. So there also, there's some settings here on the top. You can't see them right now, but so it's 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 99 seconds. I think we're going to go with 30. Okay. And it's done. I'm just going to touch the resin here on the side to see if it actually hardened. Okay. Still a little bit tacky. So I think if you go on 10 seconds, it's like full blast. So it's like full power. Maybe that will help. All right, I should be able to just grab it. Yes, perfect. It feels a little bit tacky, but I guess it needs to dry properly. I don't know. I'm not an expert in these, but uh, yeah, you can you can touch it. There's our cheesecake. So then let's put it over here nicely like so. And then look at this. Isn't that perfect and cute and everything all at once? They're not cheap. They're pretty expensive. I forgot how much, but I'm going to put it on the, I'm going to put it on the screen somewhere. But I mean, even if you just get one for the experience of it, I think it's worth it. Especially if you never dealt with resin, I feel like it's a lot of fun. Like you can do so many things and you can be creative and you know. There we go. Let's put it right there. All right, I have just enough time to do one more. So, uh oh, are you guys following in many brands footsteps with these? I'm kidding. They're a lot overall. They're a lot better. So let's see what we have in this one. Oh, OK, we have a cup. It looks like this is going to be a milkshake. I don't know why. Yep, look at this mint. Oh, it's a mint chip milkshake. Okay. <laughs> we got another whipped cream. Oh my God, look at that. These are the chocolate chip cookies, the morsels. That is next level. You see how small it is? That is so cool. And now I need to put them back inside, one by one. Imagine having a full jar of these, that'd be so cool. Oh, what is that? Checkers coffee cake? Or it's a cookie? It's a checkers cookie. Haha, uh -huh, this is a straw. See, we got this one over here, the mint chip shake. All right, so we put some resin, put the chocolate chips, mix, and then use the UV light to harden it. And then we put some more resin and then we finish it off with the cookie and the whipped cream. So resin, we should have quite a bit of it in here. It needs to fill up this whole thing. This is the part I hate the most, by the way. Just need to leave a little bit for the top to add the other pieces, so. I think this should be good. And now let's add the chocolate chips. Okay, I think I added all of them. <laughs> There's a couple that just ran away, but I'm gonna get them right now. There we go. So I think now we use this to mix it all up. I don't want everything at the bottom, so I'm gonna bring some back up to the top. Okay, I think that looks good. Now let's put it in the oven. This might be a disaster, but. Let's do 60 just to. We're going to do 90 seconds or 99 seconds once we add all the other pieces. But in the meantime, let's pull out the other ingredients. And then these little cookies. Right. And I want to check this one more time. I think I made a mistake. Probably should not have put all the chocolate chip cookies because it looks like there's some over there on the top too. All right, this should be done. Yep. 
it's all hardened and it looks good. I like the position of these. Okay, so now we add more resin. And the cookies. Something like that. And then the whipped cream. It's overflowing a little bit, but I don't think it looks too bad, right? Back in the oven it goes. Now we're probably going to blast it with 90 seconds. Well, this video is a long one. I mean, for you, it might be a short one because because of the way I edit things. But uh, for me, just doing this and with all the noise from upstairs and having to re, you know, redo things and um, yeah, just being really careful with these. It's the, I mean, I opened a couple for shorts, but it's not the same when I open for a regular video. So but yeah, let's see how this will turn out. And then we're going to we're going to pick up where we left for the next video, maybe unless I open the green ones in the next video, because I'm really curious to see how those are as well. All right, this is done. Let's see. Yep, it looks really good. I like it. Look at that. The mint chocolate chip shake. All right, so um, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't worry, I'm gonna do more. Like I said, in total, I have 20 balls and eventually we're gonna get through all of them. Next time I'm opening them, I plan on making a lot more. It's just that this time, I wanted to go into a little bit more detailed and show you exactly what comes in every single capsule. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end and thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing. As usual, you guys stay golden and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.